Okay, nothing fancy here. I am going to go ahead and use, I mean, I'm not nothing fancy. Hi, this is Steve. I'm just, uh, my cat is uh, rubbing against the camera tripod, so if that happens, you know what it is. Um, this little cheap aluminum barbecue, I've had this thing hanging up uh, for a, just a, about four or five years. And, uh, you know, it's just got wires running through here. It folds up. So I think it's about time to use it. I got nothing fancy here for the fire. I am doing this inside because it's a fair, fairly windy out today and kind of cool. So uh, doing this in the little shelter tent. And uh, after all, that's why, I, that's why I made the thing. So what I've got here is I've got some flash tender, which in this case is uh, birch bark river birch bark and on top of that I got some small sticks and on the very bottom I've got some larger sticks so that's going to be our initial um, our initial fire starter here there is just a touch of uh, oh uh, pine heartwood in there but um, so we're going to get this going then I'm going to put this over the top, and then I'll put my pan on. Nothing fancy here going on, nothing crazy or interesting or anything. But you see, when you burn this birch bark and uh, uh, this fatwood, you get this black smoke. And you wouldn't want that in your food. So uh, what I'll do is I'll get, they're great for getting fire started. So we'll get the fire started here, and then we'll, once that stuff burns away, we'll, uh, we'll add some other stuff, and we'll be on our way. What I've noticed is uh, this aluminum pan, it does heat up quickly, evenly. Um, I can hold the handle here. The handle is long enough where it's not hot. Um, of course, with aluminum or anything, really, you're going to end up with some crud on the bottom. But my cat and dog are going to help me out there, I think. Uh, I should mention, my cat has tried several times, Essie has tried several times to get to this food she smells she would have no guilty conscience whatsoever knocking the whole thing over onto the ground letting it cool and gobbling it up what they say about cats is true if they were larger they would eat us that's just animal nature so uh, it's about ready to eat i don't know if i'll show you show myself eating it or not but i got so hot in this little shelter that i'm in i had to take my long sleeve jacket off coat uh, shirt I don't know what it is but it was uh, it's been kind of cool today and windy so I had it on it it just got too warm in here and that's even with the uh, entrance curtain open so 
Yeah, this is getting mighty hot. The eggs are about done in it. You can tell by the whites. And uh, that I can see throughout the, the stuff. So it's going to be my breakfast lunch. Well, here it is. Got the sun right in my eyes, so I keep my hat covering it. I got to tell you, it's great. Mm. It doesn't look like stuff st uh, stuck to the bottom. The little stove did great. I'll be able to tell more after, uh, you know, after I empty everything out and check the uh, check the metal. But it looks like it's going to stay strong. I suppose be good for 20, 30 burns, maybe, maybe more. Make you smack your mama. Mm. So, thanks for coming along for breakfast, lunch with me. And, uh, don't be afraid to buy these cheap little grills. As long as you can use them and know what you're doing, they'll be fine. And uh, well worth five, ten dollars. And these little Walmart uh, pots and pans set get you two, get you three. If you have a kid, this is ideal for them. Uh, you don't have to spend a bunch of money. In fact, if you're an adult, you don't have to spend a bunch of money. These things work just fine. Okay, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. And we'll catch you on the, get you on the other side. Hey, I know I already signed off, but I wanted to do like an addendum after the fact kind of thing. This is how I carried this thing to empty the ashes. I just put a stick under it and then one through the little holes here. But it's aluminum, so once I dumped the ashes, uh, it pretty much cooled off like big time fast. And you can see the inside of it. I mean, it's in great shape. Didn't do any harm to it. It's about the same as it was. Uh, of course, I'll clean this out. This thing folds up, you know, and of course, it doesn't get any smaller than the bottom, but uh, it gets about that thick. I had to make one of these uh, little hook things, just make it out of a coat hanger, and it slides through here. I guess I could show you really quick. Oh, looks like one's already falling out here. All right, there's one negative. The little things fall out. They just pull out, you see, and then they fold up. I don't know what the name of this thing is. There really isn't a name on it. I'll have to find the other hook. Guess I might as well show you since I've gone this far. Okay, Steve, how's it pulled up? Well, I'll show you. Two in the back, two in the front. There you go. How slim trim can you get? Then you take your little four hangers and put on there. So that's that. I want to show you. Now, Chips helped me eat this and so did Essie. Essie got some. Um, but I have to make her wait till after um, it's cooked, you know. You can see the black that got on there. And here you can see this is where the fire was. And this is where I just cooked it on the coals. What a difference, huh? So this stuff, you know, comes off. The problem with it is you just get it in your pack and on your hands and all that crap. But you can wipe it off pretty easy. But look at that. I mean, yeah, I didn't let it burn. But you just keep moving it. But you saw there was two raw eggs in there that could have burned and stuff and didn't. Really good deal, guys. I'm serious. Well, it was nice to have lunch with you today. It's a beautiful day. A little on the cool side, but I like it that way. Fat man like it that way.